this week on Archer's Choice. Adrenaline Outfitters, baby. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week we're heading up to Manitoba. Adrenaline Outfitters, baby. And we're going with Joe and Z from the office. That's right. And Dusty. Dusty's actually going on her first bear hunt with yep, her bow. It's, it's pretty cool. bear hunt, so we can't wait to show you that one. This week's lucky logo is Real Tree. You can blend in anywhere. Oh, and you blend. Huh, get huh. it? Remember that? Oh, and you blend. Okay, anyway, so at the end of the show, we'll tell you what to do with Real Tree. And I think we should just get into Dusty's hunt. Yep, I think so. We're going to. Take the bad boy up to Manitoba. No, we're not taking we'll the bad boy up to Manitoba. We'll get there by next spring, watch. Yeah, that's about it. Let's go. Come on. We're not even done setting up, and this bear came out of nowhere. My very first black bear encounter. Like I said, we've been in here not even 10 minutes, and all of a sudden a bear popped up. That's definitely a plus. He said there's a couple big boars running around here, too, and there's a of bear sign. Oh, I'm excited. Tonight's gonna be the night. an excitable girl trust me and uh, I'm pretty darn proud of her she did keep it she kept everything under control she was able to go ahead and make that shot and recover that bear it's a beautiful bear beautiful chocolate bear and for her first bear a color phase come on now she's spoiled too Northern Manitoba Adrenaline Outfitters, Bear Camp, June 2009. I shot this chocolate last night, uh, Wednesday, June 24th, and it was a hairy situation. We had uh, some angry sows in there and a couple big boars, so we drug them out last night, and here we are this morning. It's Thursday, June 25th, Adrenaline Outfitters, and I shot a chocolate last night. He had me on the edge of my seat all night long, in and out of the bait site, and I was shaking like a leaf, but he finally, uh, the opportunity finally arose, and I was able to pull off a shot on him, and he didn't go far at all. I am ecstatic about this bear. My very first bear is a chocolate, and I am ecstatic. Adrenaline Outfitters, baby. Don't go anywhere. We've got more bearing down in Manitoba with Adrenaline Outfitters. Ha, 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 ha,
Welcome back to The Archer's Choice. Okay, Something's Ralph, knocking. We've right across right roads. Across roads in life. Oh. Do we want to watch Joe's Adrenaline Hunt, which would be to the left? Or do you want to watch Zendel's Adrenaline Hunt, which would be to the right? Many Joe choices in Z life. Man. Joe Z. Joe Z. Joe Z? Joe Z. Okay, Z. Z. Okay. Joe and I are in Manitoba with Adrenaline Outfitters. Joe brought us back to a bait today that we, uh, two nights ago, had a great encounter. With a real bruiser, he just stayed just outside the Bay Area. Hopefully tonight he comes back in. We've rearranged our stands to give us a little more of an angle into where he was standing. So hopefully we can come in. There's a good pod trail coming right up. So hopefully tonight we can make it happen. Sit tight, see what happens. Well, it's just like the rest of the week. It's not hunting unless you get wet. And uh, I'm going to get wet. So let's see what happens today. Joe and I saw a lot of bears that week, but the one bear that I really remember is the sow that had a little boar following her, and she was really giving him grief every minute of his day. Don't go anywhere. When we get back, we are bearing down in Manitoba with Adrenaline Outfitters. Okay, took that the wrong crossroads. They didn't shoot anything on it that way. It was just encounters. Let's go left. Maybe Joe will shoot something there. Should we go see? We'll see. I know. We'll try this way. I'm in Manitoba with the Drilling Outfitters. It's the first day we've had a forecast where it's not supposed to rain, and we just got soaked coming to the stand. I absolutely, it's running down my back. This bait's called the hole. You can see we're in the middle of a big hole, and the wind has uh, been really bad all week for this spot. And they got two bears over six foot that have been using this stand. So we're, uh, we're hoping one of them will come in. There's a trail, a pond trail, right underneath us, coming right under Z.
the area we were in was called the hole, this bait. And the, these bears were coming down the hill to us, right underneath us on this pod trail, back around to the bait. Z and I, they were above us when they were looking down, looking down at us. And uh, I spotted this bear coming down the hill and I told Z, I see a good bear coming. And he thought I was joking, but I was serious. The next thing I tell him, it's a chocolate. This monster chocolate is literally sliding down the mud bank towards us. Comes down right under the tree. We can't even move at this point. Z can't turn the camera around or anything. He's right at the base of the tree looking up at us. The HS uh, umbrella is up above us. We figured that probably gave us some cover. Walks down, and the first chance we have to shoot him, Z's on him. He stops for a split second and then goes out to the bait. Well, he turns and faces us for, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes. He gets up, starts to turn. We drew, I think it was eight or nine times before we finally got a shot at this, this bear. And man, what an intense hunt. Ready? I hit him high. I hit him high. I got a hold on to the tree. That bear has had me a nervous wreck. I think Z and I drew on that bear, what, eight, nine times? He laid down facing us, stood up six, seven times, turned around, and I finally had a broadside quarterway shot, and he was behind these two trees. I hit him a little higher than I would have wanted, but it, this is a real steep angle, and it looked like it quartered down into him hard. I'm a wreck, dude. I'm a wreck, Z. <laughs> well, last night, Z and I hammered him. What I think was a monster talk. I don't know what you think. Oh, but nice. it, it's a nice bear. Um, adrenaline always leaves the bears the next day. We were a little worried about the shot being a little too high anyway, so we probably would have backed out anyway. But now we got a long trek in, and uh, after a night of no sleep. <laughs> He's up there. Nice bear. Oh man. Nice bear. Cosby. He's right here, buddy. Holy smokes. You're welcome. Thanks for everything, man. That is awesome. And last night was a long night, I'm telling you what. This bear came in. From the time we saw this bear till this morning, it's been long. I drew on him about nine times before he finally gave us a shot. And then I had to sleep all night before we put our hands on him. <laughs> so these guys told me all night that bear's dead, that bear's dead, because I was worried about that high shot to come out right in the armpit where it should. And uh, the chocolate, I can't imagine, can't imagine being a better hunter. Hey, don't go anywhere. We've got more Baron Down with Adrenaline Outfitters up in Manitoba. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Why do you gotta go off trail? Because we can with the BBB. Okay, anyways, hey, let's go back up. Z's up one more time. Yep, we'll see what one happens. One more time, and now, I mean, they've got some really great stealth cam photos. Well, well, that's the big thing is using the cameras, just like you're deer hunting. You're using those, you're seeing the baits that are active, and you see what you wanna maybe go after, and they're getting after it. Okay, well, let's see if Z can close it, all right? Okay, just don't, you're Watch that big smacking tree. the tar out of big our bad tree. boy. When that little sow circled around us and she was coming in, she, was, she knew something was wrong, but she didn't quite figure out why. She came right up behind Joe and I, who we didn't have a blind or anything. We were just sitting behind a couple of little trees and an umbrella. And uh, she got close enough that it made us a little bit nervous.
watch that young sow for a couple hours just feeding and laying around. Five minutes ago she just jumped up and bailed out of here. She'd been looking that way for a while. I think something good might happen here. It was the last day of our hunt, and Joe and I had spent all week in the rain trying to get these bears in front of us. Lo and behold, this monster walks right out at 19 yards. I double hitch, send the arrow through the woods, and he's probably still running today. sat over there and saw just a couple small bears pulled the stealth camp and had this monster on it. We sat here all night worried about the wind and everything. He walks right in there and I turn an arrow loose it goes through the woods. That's just sickening and sickening. Oh my god. Oh, Z, gosh. do we feel your pain, brother? But that's, you know what? It happens. It he just does. needs a big bear hug. Oh. Sorry, Z. Oh. Hey, but up at Adrenaline, you know, one of the really cool things up there also with Russ and Shelly and them, it's a really, it's a family organization it's where. It's based, that's absolutely. And they, they have even got a great rates, special with yeah, the kids. For kids and parents going up there. And I mean, you need to check them out. It's a great, great people up there. Yep. And big bears. So don't forget the lucky logo. It was. Team Realtree, where you blend in. Wow. Yeah. Go to archerschoice.com, click on the lucky logo button, fill out some information. Someone's going to win some great stuff from Realtree and some other great prizes, too. And next week, well, we're heading north to North Dakota. Oh, you betcha. We're going to do some ducks and bucks. With the Brants. Absolutely. One of our favorite places. Oh, jeez, Ralph. I can't wait. <sighs> so, oh my god. We gosh. hope you enjoyed this week's show. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on The Archer's Choice.